I wanted to ask you, like your time in the NBA, you're surrounded by like these amazing athletes all the time. You're in these really high intensity environments. Like you've got like superstars around you. Like how, how the hell do you stay like you? How do you stay your, how is your sense of identity kept intact when your, your ego is being challenged in so many directions? Yeah. Like how, how do you manage to do that on a day-to-day basis? Or like, if you didn't, how did you work towards that? Um, it's hard. Um, I think it comes with a bit of maturity um, and just knowing your surroundings uh, where you could still be yourself, but in the light, not step on toes. Um, so uh, just being around guys, you learn a lot of different things, just personalities. Uh, everybody's not the same. Uh, you have, like, guys like Giannis who are, like, super humble. They don't really say too much. Like, and you got other, like, superstar guys that are just like, nah, I know who I am, and you either take it or leave it. So mm-hmm. um, just knowing your personnel in a sense. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's super hard. Uh, it's tough uh, mentally um, just going into those situations, and it's super political where it's like, I may be better than this guy, but they're paying him 200 mil and they're paying me three mil. Like I might not ever get an opportunity, but you got to just stay consistent and uh, keep working and not let that like dawn on you about like your work ethic or how you go about your day and just enjoying the game. Cause sometimes it it can take the joy out of it because it's kind of like you're worrying about the wrong things at times. It's just like, man, I want to play. Like, why am I not playing? Why is this not happening? Why is this not happening? But sometimes you just got to like wait your turn in a sense yeah. and just like keep going until that opportunity comes because it's a lot about opportunities and uh, when you get those and just taking advantage of that. 